Welcome back, and here we are at Pammy's Ice Cream Parlor on Hartswell Neck Road. If there is one place that brings joy, it is Pammy's Ice Cream Parlor. We're so excited to be here on a very special evening as well, as we'll show you some treats and some antique cars that happen every Monday. Lots to look at and a really, really fun woman to talk to. So let's go see her. Hello everyone, here we are at Pammy's Ice Cream Parlor with none other than Pammy herself. Hi Pam. Hi. It's so nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day. I can't even like thank the weather enough for what I know. <laughs> awesome. I know. Now we have to get into so much, but let's start with where this all began. Well, you know, when I, I grew up here in Harpswell, I've been here all my life and when we were little, we all used to ride our bikes down to Estes and get an ice cream, or we went up to Bailey's store, and we had memories. And um, it wasn't until I had my grandson that I realized we were really missing something down here. Um, every week I would go to his house, and that was my date day, and I used to take him to a little ice cream shop, and he was so excited, and that became our memory. And I came home and I'm like, we really need this down here. And I just, it kept coming to me, we need an ice cream shop. So I got it in my head and I just started going to the town office, asking if I could lease the property so I could put an ice cream parlor here. And I didn't want to open something up that was just a drive up, come get an ice cream and drive off. I wanted it to be a memory, an experience. And so along the way, as I was getting ready to get things done, I decided that I really wanted to serve Round Top ice cream. And it's locally made in Damascata. Um, and how that became along was my family, every year we would go to Moose Crossings and get our flowers for the garden for the summer. And then we'd stop at Round Top and have ice cream. And I told them that Everybody would have to bypass me to get to Erica's and get to the Dolphin and Estee's Lobster House. They were going to stop on the way back by. And so it's worked out well for them as well as myself. One of the amazing things over here at Pammy's are the Monday night events, uh, especially the car show, which we can see is happening behind us. Pammy, tell us a little bit about this car show and how it started and how it's going. Well, um, actually, it was one of the natives in Harpswell, Dennis Gagnon, he um, passed away. Um, and every time we have a car show, I always think of him because it wouldn't be here without him. Um, he had a lot of cars and said, you know, you ought to start doing these car shows down here. And so we started advertising four to seven, four to close um, Monday nights. Um, and we started having local artists playing music. So we're starting out early. Um, we were gonna start towards the end of May, but we've had people show up already. So we're on our Monday night schedule, um, four to seven, and people come and we have chicken salad sandwiches, chicken salad with cranberry walnut, um, hot dogs, ice cream, and they all just come. And it's a great place to come because they're not sitting on the hot tar. They're, they've got, the Look trees, the they've got I the mean, shade, they've got the sun, and you know, it's just safe here and yeah. everybody really enjoys it. It is truly and So we, we have a new thing in Harpswell, we have antique car shows. It's, which is just so perfect for Harpswell, <laughs> especially this side of Harpswell, I think, with so much history. But people just are craving this kind of thing right now after they the are. we've had. And so I thank you so much for creating a place where people can come and have such a special moment. So we have the car show, but there are also other events that happen here. Can you tell us a little bit about how this venue is used by your customers? Yes, well, we have a lot of room here and it's very kid safe. Um, you bring your children, you don't have to worry the road. It's, we have a lot of room here, and which is nice. So I've had a lot of people come and they have their birthday parties here for their kids. Um, and it's, it's not taking away from any of the customers. We always find a special place, reserve it off. Um, so birthday parties, gatherings, and a lot of people, um, which is our older generation in Harpswell that used to visit all the time. Well, I'm finding that now it's become the gathering place, the happy gathering place. They come here, they come from one end of town and they meet here and spend hours just talking, listening to the music, and it's just really nice to see that. The other thing, we have cornhole on the other side of the street, which is great, because a lot of the teenagers at night, people that are on vacation, 
kids that are coming from the city, they're up late at night. Yeah. They're not ready to go to bed at seven or eight o'clock. No, no. So they come down here and they play cornhole and, and it's really nice. That is awesome. Another friendly face that you will see when you come over to Pammy's is Pammy's sister, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hi. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Denise, we also have, so it's not just ice cream and antique cars and all these amazing events. You also support local artists. We so do. tell us a little bit about this section of Pammy's. Well, Pam and I both do crafts outside of here. And so we wanted a place to sell them. So we brought them down here and other local people have come by and said, can we drop our stuff off? And so we had this cabinet made and we sell things. Gosh. And so tell us a little bit about some of that. Like, well, let's start with what you what you make and what's here. I do a lot of things with rope. So I make the rope swings, the rope mats, rope balls. And the rope swings are actually here. They are actually right. here, yes. Good. Yeah, the kids awesome. love them. Awesome. Uh-huh. Uh, and what else? What and else? then um, Pam, she does the mussel trees and the, the shell wreaths. And then we have other people that are paint and we have people that find sea glass and do little art sculptures with them and just a cute little dust pans. Dust pants. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, All license yes. plates. Yes. It's so it's, it's just so fun. It's very eclectic of what we have here and it's constantly changing. You never know what's going to be on the shelves. We can't let Pammy get away without making her favorite or signature dish. So she's kind enough to uh, make, what is it that we're making today? I'm going to make you a mud pie. Okay. Well, we can't wait to see how it goes. Here we go. So now we have hot fudge, Oreo crumb, coffee ice cream. And there you go, Pammy's Mud Pie Parfait. All right, should we try this? I think we should. Of course, <laughs> okay. I made it for you. <laughs> I gotta have some perks for filming all the time, I guess. Let's see, there's so much here. Tell me what you think. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is amazing. Everyone, the cherry, best part, right? Mm. Guys, you gotta come try this. This is amazing. Mm. Come down to Pammy's ice cream parlor. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> oh my God, so good. <laughs> hey, I'm Ron Hutchins, owner of the Harpswell Realty Group. I hope that you guys are really enjoying these, uh, these little mini series of Life on the Rocks. Uh, this is normally where I would stand here and do a little commercial for Harpswell Realty Group, but I wanna take a moment and point out, uh, share a, a photo with you guys that uh, a local lobsterman did just recently. His name is Donnie Freeman. Uh, he does some photography work. You can check out his Facebook page. But this picture of a lobster, uh, it really does it capture what it's like to live here on the coast of Maine. And he calls it, ta-da. All right, so if you wanna check out more of Donnie's stuff, just go to his Facebook page, it's Donnie Freeman. Um, now, as far as real estate goes, if you think that this is the year for you to make a move, we would love to sit down and have a conversation with you. It's uh, confidential and it's free, and uh, we hope to hear from you. For a variety of recreational offerings, Mitchell Field can't be beat. This 120-acre former U.S. Navy Fuel Depot property was transferred to the town in 2001 from the federal government. It boasts several miles of paved and gravel paths, a sandy beach, a bandstand that hosts outdoor concerts, and the Harpswell Community Garden. It's a great place for walking, bicycling, swimming, cross-country skiing, picnicking, and so much more. On clear days, you can even see Mount Washington over 80 miles to the west. 
The easy outer perimeter gravel road is wide and level, making it a great choice for almost anyone to traverse. There are a few openings that run through the woods, known as the woods trails, where you can seek relief from the sun that with tall, old growth trees and grassy trails. Welcome to Mitchell Field, a favorite destination of mine and my family's. I come here all the time. I have friends that I've made just from coming here. This is such a wonderful place for the community. You pass Pam's to get here, bring your ice cream down here and enjoy the view. There's so much to be said for this place. There's a, a wonderful running path. There's a wonderful walking path in the woods. There is this gorgeous waterfront that has tidal beach so you can come here when it's low tide and hang out for the whole day. There is all this amazing lawn so that you can have community picnics. Uh, my family has their reunion here every single year because it is just, we can't think of a more beautiful spot in Harpswell to come in and enjoy a day. So definitely, definitely come check out Mitchell Field. Set a day aside, bring a picnic, come and swim, come and walk, come and run. Do everything here, it's an amazing place. My absolute favorite part about Mitchell Field is that it is a place that I can come with my animals. I have three adorable dogs uh, who all love to play and it is just an amazing spot to be able to come and enjoy the water, have this open space. There are so many wonderful people who have their dogs and it's a complete community here. You come here at 10 a.m. any day and it is just a very fun happy hour of dogs. It's just such a wonderful part of this place. So, see uh, Stella, do you want to? You want to go up? Go! How can you beat this view with these lovely animals and just look how happy they are being able to be out here. It's such a special place. There are very few places left in Harpswell that are completely untouched and preserved. We are so lucky that our town makes sure that these places still exist for our families and for our friends to be able to enjoy and continue to see and feel the beauty of this area. I mean, this walk is a full mile walk in this beautiful, beautiful wood that is completely maintained. Uh, it is so quiet back here because we are so far off the road. It's so peaceful. You hear the ocean to your left. You hear the birds and nature into the woods. It's just truly serene. It's hard to believe that at one point this was actually used as a Navy fuel station. We're just so lucky that now after all of the purpose that it had, its larger purpose is to be a beautiful place for our community and our family and friends. Uh, you can even rent out the gazebo or rent out portions of Mitchell Field for family reunions, weddings, um, any type of event. And it's just the most quiet and peaceful area that you just do not want to miss. Uh, it is probably the closest, nearest and dearest to my heart in the town of Harpswell. You'll see me here a lot. So if you say, if you see me, say hello, um, and I'll see you here soon. Well, there you have it. Episode four of Life on the Rocks, and we hope you guys really enjoyed it. We loved showing you Pammy's Ice Cream Parlor and Mitchell Field on the Harpsel Neck. Now, since we only focused on one business in this episode, we have a special surprise for you. Pammy has generously donated two gift certificates for $50 each to Pammy's Ice Cream Parlor. Now, how do you get those? Well, let's refresh. You're gonna go onto the Harpsville Realty Group Facebook page. You're going to like, you're gonna comment, and you're gonna share this original video. Then don't forget to go on and like and follow Pammy's Ice Cream Parlor on the social media platforms. That's it. We'll see you on episode five in a couple weeks. Good luck.